That is Christopher Harry Bramble, whose remains were discovered in the ruins of his dwelling after the flames were extinguished. According to information received, smoke was seen emanating from the wooden one-flat building, which alerted neighbors to summon the Guyana Fire Service. At that time, persons at the scene managed to evacuate the wife of the deceased, Jewel Coates, who suffered burns to her hands and about her body. When the evening news visited the scene on Monday morning, relatives of the dead man were contemplating their next move as they mourned the loss of Bramble. His daughter, Tamika Bramble, recollected that she received a call at about 12.30 hours informing her that her father's house was up in flames and in the process, he did not survive. She noted that when she arrived, a neighbor broke a section of the wall to get the occupants out of the house. He managed to get Coates out of the house and was allegedly told by the injured woman that Bramble was not at home. I just got a call, me, my father died. So when I came around, because I lived just around there, I see the house in flames. The stabbing, well according to what people said, is like she stabbed me, she go out on the road, come back, and then decided to start the fire. Meanwhile, the niece of the deceased, Toya, told this newscast that Coates would imbibe on a frequent basis. During those instances, the house would erupt with violent behaviors on Coates' part. She's very abusive. Very, very abusive. And maybe the family has a niece, you know, how much time we talk to you, like, no, nothing never really making any sense in one part from she. And then the station, every time she go at the station, she make a lot of false accusation against he is like, nothing no make sense. The police is just loose. She probably, I don't know if they get fed up if she at the station, but this okay, just Lucy, and she free back on the road. Choppy in the head, stabby. All kind of things slitty by your throat with a razor blade is the longest thing going on. This newscast understands that the couple had one child from their relationship which spanned just over two years. However, the 56-year-old man had five children from his previous marriage. Coates is currently at the Georgetown Public Hospital and is said to be in a stable condition while Bramble's charred remains were stored at the Lycans Funeral Home. Rupa Sinurain, The Evening News.